A road construction project is forcing people to leave their homes or businesses. One of those businesses is a restaurant that's been around for decades. And tonight, that business owner is speaking to News 8's Camila Fernandez. Right now, we are kind of uh, stressed and and her feelings, uh, our feelings uh, got hurt. For more than two decades, this unique spot in Noblesville has been filled with memories and love by the locals. But now the Mexican restaurant El Camino Real is being forced to shut down by the city. The owner, Ignacio Rodriguez, says this has made an impact on a lot of people in the community. Noblesville, I like Noblesville. I don't go nowhere. I like this, this Noblesville because it's been home for everybody here. It's being forced to close its doors so that the city can move the reimagined Pleasant Street project forward. The restaurant, along with the Dairy Queen and some homes near Pleasant and 10th Streets, will be gone. The city project aims to ease traffic by providing an additional east-west corridor from State Road 37 to the west across the White River to State Road 32. It's important what they're doing, but I'm trying to defend uh, business uh, that is being for... 25 years. Rodriguez says the city is giving him more than $550,000 for the property, but he says it's not enough. Price, everything has been increasing a lot, ex extra expensive, everything, and what the city offer uh, couldn't not, well, it's not going to help me on anything about it because it's about $550,000. Mayor Chris Jensen says they've worked with the restaurant to find some options to relocate and provide some resources. Different real estate agencies here in the city and identify different sites that would be an option for them going forward. So this has been a real hands-on approach from the city, knowing that these are difficult conversations, but we want to make sure our local businesses are protected and have options going forward. There's any chances, opportunities to to do any something in the future, another project, uh, probably we'll have to think about it. The owner, Ignacio Rodriguez, says he's grateful for the support he's received all these years. Reporting in Noblesville, Camilla Fernandez, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.